Good day everyone and welcome back to W3D Studio. Behind me there's an Ender 3. Okay, as you can see here, it's my friend's printer. It got some issues but already solved and I noticed something is different with this printer compared to my printer. So this is Encubic i3 Mega and that one is A4 Max. This printer when we start printing it will make uh, something that we call it perching line so it will uh, push out the filament to the heat pad and making a line and then another line to clean up the nozzle tip and then I try to check out there any setting in the menu on the printer that will uh, makes it possible to activate the perching line or not and I cannot find any and then I also check in Cura, are there any option to activate the bridging line on and off? There's also no setting for that one until I open the machine setting for the G code start, like this one on the screen. As you can see, there are some G code that is showing the nozzle will move at certain part of the heat bed and then extruding some certain amount of the filament and yeah that's the purging line okay and I'm curious can I use that purging line G code on my printer so I'm testing to this one the i3 mega so I copy the G code lines from the G code start of the machine setting for the Ender 3 to the Cura setting for my printer for the Anycubic i3 and as you can see here I'm making a new printer profile so that if something wrong is happening then I still have the old profile and yes I rename to make it look different this will be the Anycubic i3 Mega with perch line and then for the machine settings on the left side we see the statue code and this original statue code I copy and paste to a text editor this one and on the top part of the editor is the Ender 3 custom start G code okay, let me type in and then paste the original start G code as you can see here there are four lines that I'm going to leave as it is as it looks like something important for the initialization of the printer so I just uh, not going to change that and then I remove the next lines with the start G code from the Ender 3 and then from the text editor I paste again to the machine settings and this is the result as you can see it also make the same perching line it is interesting because maybe for some project I will need to use this but anyway the perching line is on the left side of the heat pad and this is actually makes sense if you are using a heat pad with the build plate that is hold together with the paper clip on the front side and on the rear side but my heat pad is ultra base and it's glued or using a double tip with this type of heat pad I don't need to worry that the nozzle will crush the paper clip so yeah I think I need to move the perching line from the side of the heat pad to the front that way we will have two more benefit the first one is that I can check the perching line result so is it good or not and then the second one, I can just uh, take it off. It's going to be a lot easier if we put the perching line at the front side of the heat pad. So I edit the G code start line and then replace or swap the X and Y coordinate. So as you can see here, the X number I use as the Y number and the Y number I use as the X number. So that way it will move from the left side of the heat pad to the front side of the heat pad. Now the perching line is at the front side of the heat pad so I can check are there anything wrong and then I can just remove it when it finished. I will put the start G code at the description of this video and yeah you can use that if you want. Anyway you can also remove this code from the Ender 3 machine setting if you don't want any or you can also modify as you want that's up to you that's all for this video hopefully this is useful and thank you for watching see you again in the next video bye